Welcome. In front of me is a Qbot R15, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So as you can see, if you want to set up the device, you will need to confirm your uh, previous email on the device. And to bypass this, we'll need one thing, which is a SIM card with programmed uh, some kind of number on there, contact basically, if I can pick it up. So basically all you need to do is save some kind of contact on the SIM card instead of the device, and then plop it into the phone. So now I'm gonna actually put it in, uh, which I actually might take, yep, I think I have to take off the cover. So let me, let me do that at this moment. And it goes right here. I'm not gonna be closing the cover so it's easier accessible later on. Okay, so once the SIM card is in, you wanna go back to the first page. And from here, hopefully the language won't change. Um, but what you wanna do is tap on emergency call and then tap on emergency information twice, like so. Then from here, tap on the edit, which is the pencil and add contact. And that's what we needed the SIM card for with the contact. So now we get to choose some kind of contact that we want to add. It doesn't matter which one you select. All we need is just anything to show up here. And you select it. It will open it up as a contact in a way. Tap on the three dots up here and then select share. And that will give us options uh, that we can use to share. But what we want to do is instead of choosing one, we want to hold Gmail. So hold it. It will give you kind of like a different window where you can tap on app info and go into the settings of the app. And from here, choose notifications, then select advanced and tap on additional settings in the app. Then again, tap on the three dots and select help and feedback. And now describe your issue because it's not showing the thing that we need. So in here, search for Morse, as in Morse code. So use Morse code. And you get a video that you can tap on. And it will load these two options right here. And what we need is the watch later, which is the clock icon. You can tap on it. And then it will take us to the browser. From here, just tap on accept and continue, and we don't want to log in. And in a search field, we're gonna navigate into hardreset.info website. So, like so, and search. Then tap on the menu right here, which is the basically three bars and choose download. Let me close the ad so it doesn't get in the way. And then in a download field, we're gonna search for Android 8. Android 8. And then just simply tap on search. And it's the first thing that you can see, FRP bypass, Google account protection bypass, Tap on download, scroll down and once more, tap on download, continue, allow, okay, and open once it's downloaded. So from here, before we can actually install it, we need to give permission. So allow from this source and then go back once, and then select install. Now once it installs, we want to open it. Okay, so open. And now choose Google Account Management APK install and for version 6.0. And once more, we need to do the same thing, which is allow from this source and go back and install 
and this time once it installs we just want to click done and it will take us back to the frp bypass and from here now we're going to choose bypass frp and select browser sign in and then tap on three dots right here and choose browser browser sign in tap on okay and sign with, with your google account now if you don't have one you can always create one as you can see right here create an account and then use it to log in i'm gonna use mine right now so i don't need to create and next and i'm gonna put in the password of the camera and once you put in the password just choose sign in oh actually i put it in wrong let's try it again okay now it worked Okay, so once it's logged in, it will take you back again to the FRP bypass. And from here, all we need to do is hold the power key and select restart. Okay. Now, once it boots back up, we should be able to proceed through the setup of the device without any kind of Google verification screen blocking us. But from the home screen, we're gonna go and reset the device once more to remove any kind of previous account left over to unlock it fully. So let's wait for it to actually back up. Okay, so let's go to the setup. Don't copy. So from here, let's go into the settings. Let's go into system, then reset options, erase all data, reset phone, and then erase everything. And once the device actually resets, we can then set up the device as however you like, and the process will be completely finished. So let's go through a quick setup of the device.
Okay, and now that device is back on, it's fully unlocked and ready to be used. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.